My name's Scott Valor. I'm the production manager here at Condobilla Fish and I have the coolest job in the world because I get to grow the iconic Murray Cod, Australia's largest freshwater fish. The Murray Cod's the largest freshwater fish in Australia, growing to well over 100 kg and over 1.8 metres long. It's a very predatory fish, very aggressive. It will attack anything that you put in the water. Beautiful green motley colour along the skin. It has really good growth rates, which is good for farming. When I arrive at work each day, the first thing I do is go to the ponds and check each raceway, observe the fish in each one, along that along the back, make sure that the fish are in good condition. Yeah, we generally net along the back of the raceway because if there's any that are sick or yeah, got some issues, they'll be weaker and they'll go to the back. As you can see, these are all looking really healthy and fat. So. No issues here at the moment. To do this line of work, you have to be prepared to spend a lot of time in the water. In summer it's good when it's nice and hot, but in winter it can be quite a challenge. On the farm there's three ponds, and each pond has a production area with 31 raceways. Each raceway can contain up to eight tonne, and the farm produces 75 tonne per year currently, with hopes to increase to 100 to 150 tonne per year. Once a week we harvest the fish. This involves jumping in the water, netting the fish up. Personally, it's the part that I enjoy. You get to really hands on with the fish and you get to gathering them up and picking the fish out one by one. Now I'm able to sort through the fish by hand and just pick out which ones we want to harvest. The majority of the fish that we harvest for sale on the farm are around 2 kg, getting up 3 kg. So this is the iconic Murray Cod. It's got a beautiful green colour, nice motley skin, blue eyes, a white belly. One of its distinguishable features is its large mouth, a very predatory fish. Uh, some people might not realise that this farm's along the Condamine River, so they just live in the wild right alongside the farm. I find inspiration in that aquaculture is quite a new industry within Australia. Quite a bit of what we do is research and development. Once per month, 100 fish are sampled from every raceway. And from that, we can gain an average weight and determine the growth of the fish, which includes things like feeding techniques, stocking densities, and different ways to control water quality. For each element of water quality, we have certain thresholds and benchmarks that must be met. The scientific processes we use include monitoring dissolved oxygen, temperature, ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, pH, and algae samples. We're here in the lab, we're about to do a gill snip, which involves snipping off a piece of the gill and putting it on a slide and looking at it under the microscope for any parasites. So here I'm looking across the gills. You can see the gills flare out there. And then I'm just looking around for any sign of anything moving. There's something in there, so I'll have a closer examination. You can tell this is trichodina by its frisbee shape and the way it's rotating around like that. It's only one, so I'm not too concerned about it. Just keep an eye out across the rest of the gills. To do this kind of work, I started off here working a gap year before I went away to university. But after working here for a year, I really enjoyed the work and nine and a half years later, I'm still here. While I worked here, my employers put me through a diploma of aquaculture. So this is just measuring how much dissolved oxygen is in the water. Try to keep it above five. Right now it's up near nine milligrams per litre, so plenty of oxygen in the water. Studying the diploma of aquaculture helped me to learn about testing water quality, monitoring disease outbreaks on fish, and how to best manage feed conversion ratios and growing the fish. Aquaculture was something that I'd never been involved before, so I didn't really know what I was getting into. But yeah, after working here for a period of time, the variety of work was something I really enjoyed. A great range of both physical and technical work. My advice for anyone looking to get into aquaculture would be to just get started. Have a passion for fish, and yeah, if you show a lot of keen interest and a lot of enthusiasm, then yeah, you can go anywhere.
important that the Murray cod survives for future generations because it's such an iconic fish to Australia and very unique to our habitat. The ultimate question for us is how can we further utilise science to provide the best possible growing conditions to ensure a faster, healthier growing fish.